I am going to draw a circuit. This circuit needs a battery. And coming out of the circuit is a coming out of the battery is a circuit. Like so. That's not the straightest line in the world. But it'll do for now. Let's say there's ten volts in this battery. Current is going to come out of here. It's going to follow the path all the way around. And then it's going to come back to the other end. This is the positive end down here where it returns. Here's the negative end where it exits. All well and good, but this is really bad. A circuit like this will not last long. Current unopposed will start to race through this circuit and burn it up. So we have to have something in this circuit that will limit the current. And we refer to current as I. We need to limit the current. And the device that does that, the component, we will put into the circuit to limit current flow, is called a resistor. We will talk about that in the next video. We'll put in a resistor, and then we'll start asking ourselves the big question, which is, if I put in a resistor, how much current do I have then? Can I measure it? Can I figure it out? Those are questions for next time. For now, that was enough. This is Gary Teacher from the University of Ulsan, South Korea, and we do speak English. Here are the telephone numbers you need to call. And this is our website. A wonderful website. Let me show that to you. And here it is. Wonderful. Over on the right hand side, we have engineering courses available to you electrical, industrial, chemical, material science, oh, material science, engineering, civil engineering, college of design, fine arts, music, ecology. Over towards the left, college of medicine, college of architecture, natural sciences and the languages. All this is yours for the taking, for the asking. Once again, this is Gary Teacher from the University of Ulsan, hoping to see you here soon. And until that day, bye-bye.